uh, I will take up Corey on his his offer to uh, give me the 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 platform to promote something. Uh, for anybody that hasn't watched what we've done on the national channel, the Voice of College Football, tune in for this because after week one, we will post our top twenty five that actually makes sense. So if you want to join us for something that may change and rattle and shake your college football mind up a little bit, join us for that. The top 25 that actually makes sense, the Sunday following the first weekend of play, full weekend of play. I am still hoping with everything inside of me that Eastern Carolina, East Carolina beats Michigan so that East Carolina can be number one in the country. It, it, there they are should some be, other examples of that where somebody odd could be number one. They shouldn't. Well, I yeah. know, but for the most part, yeah, you're right. There's going to be Duke, other Clemson. That's a more reasonable one, right there. Yeah, but but who's a but Michigan's a better team preseason. We 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 see that if I if East Carolina goes to Michigan and wins, that's a better win than Duke going to Clemson and winning. Yeah, Duke the, at Clemson? the chances of Duke beating Clemson are much higher than right. East Carolina beating Michigan. I know, but I'm saying, but that doesn't matter. If we're looking at the resume after week one, your top 25 that actually makes sense has been based on resume. Who who did what win against who? Yeah, and Clemson could be the best win that anybody has in week one. Not if East Carolina beats Michigan. <laughs> sure. That's what I'm saying. You're right. There, there, is there a better chance that Duke's number one week two than East Carolina? Yes, I acknowledge that. But I'm just saying, is there? There's probably other examples of teams that play. You know, Southwest Missouri. You know, uh, Grand Valley State, uh, and maybe that team can somehow would somehow be number one. I'm just saying, we brought up East Carolina and Michigan several weeks ago, and I. If they go to Michigan and win, they should be ranked number one based on the principle of your top 25 that actually makes sense. They will be. <laughs> Who does Alabama play week one, Mark? They play Middle Tennessee. Ooh. So, and then who does Georgia play? Georgia plays Tennessee Martin. Okay, which is FCS, so they would not qualify anyways for top 25, but Middle Tennessee would. So if Middle Tennessee beats Bama and East Carolina beats Michigan, who's number one? Depends on how what it, they look depends, like, how that happened. Yeah, depends on the performance. <laughs> it, 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 it goes, who did you beat, let's, and then what was the performance? Let's well, make that – I, I want to see that. Let's really rock the college football world by having those two upsets transpire. It doesn't matter what happens in week one. People will be taking shots at me left and right because they don't get it. Here's the question. Are you going to make a top 25 that it actually makes sense after week zero? And no. I think, well, I don't know. I think you should. There aren't enough results to have a top 25. Well, maybe not 20. Well, hold on. How many games are there? There's only like six games. Okay, so you could do a top 12 that actually makes sense. I'm serious. You should. I think that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should do that, Mark. I'm serious. I think that would grab. I think people would eat that up. Like, I don't even know. You yeah, you ought to do will. that. Okay. Top 12. That actually makes sense. And that can be your launch into the season. Yeah. And everyone else beyond that is tied for number 13 yeah. in the country. Because they're all, they, yeah, exactly. That And that would further emphasize, that would further emphasize the fact that nobody deserves a number next to their name prior to a, to a game. I got on a podcast the other day. It was within my network. Uh, I'll call the guys out, uh, Notre Dame guys. The two Irish brothers are going to do our Notre Dame post game. They do a great job and everything, but they had a guest on with them. And I kind of got tired of correcting him in the chat. <laughs> and I noted as well. Now, this is not one of the corrections. This is a point of opinion. I was trying to make the statement that the poll doesn't stop at 25. The ranking goes all the way to whatever number, and I counted them out and said they've actually ranked 41 teams. What's the difference between you at 89 points and your number 25 and you at 84 points, your number 26? <laughs> There's no difference. You should just keep <laughs> listing the numbers. Real quick, tri quick trivia question before we head yes. off the air. Give me, and, and I know the answer to this question based purely, I think I know the answer to this question. Um, I guess it could be up for debate, but give me, who has the potential for the best win week zero? 
What's the best possible win on the schedule for week zero? San Jose State over USC. Correct. And what would be we, what would be number two? Navy over Notre Dame. There you go. And what would be number three? Probably uh, the winner <laughs> of the Ohio San Diego State game. <laughs> So there's, you you ought to do a, you ought to start doing a top twenty five that actually makes sense and do votes from your panelists. All of us we vote make our ballots, so we really work muddle up your top twenty five. And you would see like all the votes go toward like there's no votes for I don't even know how that would work. No votes for anybody else besides the winners of those two games because the other matchups are UTEP, Jacksonville State, UMass, New Mexico State, Ohio, San Diego State. Hawaii Vanderbilt. Hey, Hawaii goes on the road and beats Vanderbilt for a second straight year. That's a win over an SEC opponent, Mark. They would probably be number three. I, I think they deserve that over Ohio, San Diego. Or over Ohio if they beat San Diego. That'd, that'd be close, right? Yeah, it's close. Was La Tech good last year? No. Three and nine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's all I got, Mark. I, I think you've sold me on that. What's going right. to be the harm in doing my nothing, top nothing. 12 that actually people, makes sense? <laughs> I think people get a kick out of it. And it's a lot easier from a practical standpoint doing that than a blooper reel. Oh, well, sure. <laughs> and I've, I've told you this. Uh, it's been a few years. Maybe I'll bring it back this year. I just picked a random number one week just to blow people's minds. And I did top 37. <laughs> and people yeah. were like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Why yeah. doesn't it make any sense? It's just a different number. I So I ranked like 37 teams. 